Welcome to the program, Jim. Really good to meet you. You too, thank you. You being a chiropractor, I'm sure you and I are going to get on like a house on fire over the next seven days. I'm sure of it. Tell, tell us your full name, your age, and where you come from. My name is Dr. James A. Marku. I'm from the Detroit area. I'm a doctor of chiropractic. I graduated at Life University back in 1980. Yep. And uh, I just love what I'm doing. I, I've, I've, I've worked on somebody every hour of the day and night, literally. How long ago were you diagnosed with Parkinson's? May of 09. And what was the name of the neurologist who carried out that diagnosis? Jenny, do you remember the name? Dr. Elkis. Elkis. Dr. Elkis. Dr. Elkis? Yeah. And you spell that? El Elkis. E L K I S S. K I S S. Mm -hmm. Okay. And did you have an MRI to, to, for him to come to that conclusion that you had Parkinson's? No. No, he did not. So he, he watched me walk. He watched me. So he just made the diagnosis on observation of symptoms. Right. Yeah. And you and I both know that those same symptoms that you have can be experienced by the average person who comes in off the street with really tight muscular system mm -hmm. due to ongoing stress, correct? Yeah. A person can even have numbness and tingling down the side of the face because of really tight neck muscle, correct? Yeah, that's why you can find TMJ involved in on one side or the other, temporal mandibular joint. And the sternocleidomastoid muscle being tight can pull on that too. Yeah, the SEM will grab that in a minute and run with it. Right. And the sternocleidomastoid is one of the muscles that becomes tight most commonly mm -hmm. with ongoing stress. After looking at your x-rays, I can see like your, your cervical spine is uh, very straightened. Yeah. And I find that um, very common uh, in, in Parkinson's MS patients, patients who I categorize as type B. Jim, now, um, how long have you had trouble jogging? What did you say, a year, Jim? Maybe six months a year? Six months to a year. Uh-huh. Do you have trouble turning around on the spot? A lot of it. Here's a head on the patient, the feet down there. Yeah. And I walk over and turn to the head. I have to get like this here. Right. Just to do this. Yeah. Like I get dizzy now. I, do this. I, I call it that sticky foot syndrome with the right foot. That I have hold you, but I'm not going to put my weight on it.
Now go right up to that cleaner's cart up there and then, then turn around twice. Turn around twice? Yeah. But don't fall over though, Hulk. Do it between the cleaner's cart and the wall so that if you get a bit dizzy and you start to tumble, you can hold onto the wall or the cart. Your right red leg sticking to the floor. Right. Right. There you go. So it's the turning around that you have trouble with, isn't it? I'm going good as long as I keep it dry. Right. All right. Let's do a massage on you and then see if we can improve you. Righto, Jim, now I just gave you a bit of a confidence talk and a massage. Um, how do you feel after your massage? Tiny kangaroo down, sport. <laughs> I feel wonderful. You're actually talking stronger or something. My voice feels like I'm using less effort. To think. That's why I haven't sang. I've been, I play guitar and sing. Right. Off you go now. Walk up to the cart, turn around twice, and, and then jog back. So you look like an average person walking now. Turn around twice. Look at this. <laughs> so your right foot is not sticking to the floor at all now. Not even a little bit. Excellent. And now jog. How long has it been since you've been able to jog like that? I don't even know. About a year. Right. Now, Jim, listen to me. This is only the second day of treatment. This is the second day of treatment and you haven't had a chiropractic adjustment yet. Can you now see the importance of relaxing your muscles? Do you understand now how I'm able to get the success I'm getting with some people? Yep. But it's up to you, isn't it? Yep. You I know that I'm now. I'm putting everything I know how to put in. You know that now. Yep. When you listen to CD number two today, listen intently and relax as you're listening and do everything that my voice tells you to do on the CD. You got the idea? Mm-hmm. Put it there, man. Put it there. <laughs> Good on you, buddy. And don't forget, after the seven days when you go home, you've got to keep doing the stuff that I teach you. Okay? Yeah. yeah. Excellent. All right, let's go. You, you just walked backwards, though. Did you realize that? Yeah, look at it. I mean, you weren't able to do that yesterday. Or last week or last month. Or yeah. I've been so you walk on myself. Jim's Going walking. Forward. Jim's walking backwards, by the way. Walking sideways. There we go. Could you have walked sideways yesterday? No. You gonna walk backwards for us? And you definitely weren't able to do that yesterday, so there you go. But Look how he turned around. Look at this. Yeah, yeah, very easily. <laughs> Are you happy with what you've learned so far? No. <laughs> He's ecstatic. Yes, I am. Can you see? It is all about muscle tension. That's so unreal. It's kind of funny. Okay. Did you get that balance on your leg, Jim? He couldn't oh, do that okay. before. You couldn't do that yesterday either. Now go the other one. Do it and I'll count. 
Do it what? Do it again and I'll count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, have I surprised you in showing you how important it is to overcome muscle tension and how severely damaging extreme muscle tension is in the creation of the Parkinson's symptoms you've experienced? I knew that it had a big play on it, but what I didn't know was just how big of a play right. this muscle tension has and the trigger points and all that. Right. So I want you to remember now that extreme muscle tension is actually more damaging and more causal in the creation of the symptoms of Parkinson's and MS than anybody realises. give it to you to try to help overcome the symptoms of Parkinson's disease. Is that correct? It, it's not correct, but it's correct. Yeah. <laughs> That's wow. an oxymoron. Yeah. So